everyone, I'm Laura Carfang. I am one of the co-founders of survivingbreastcancer.org and I am joined with my hubby. Hi everyone, I'm William LaFerrier, co-founder and uh, visionary extraordinaire at survivingbreastcancer.org. I was diagnosed with breast cancer at the age of 34. And the reason why that's significant is because I had no family history of breast cancer. William and I were strict vegans at the time, so we were living our like best, healthiest lives, eating incredibly healthy. Oh, what, we hiked every weekend, we would camp, we were four season campers. Um, we met in a swimming pool, so. Yeah, we're a very active we're lifestyle. Very healthy, biking and hiking and kayaking and, and swimming and uh, everything but hang gliding, I guess. So at that time, when I went in for my very first mammogram to make sure nothing was wrong, um, we found out we had stage 2B breast cancer, and I was devastated. I had my first mammogram scheduled. It was a diagnostic mammogram where they do a couple extra imaging compared to just like a regular routine mammogram. The technician and doctors were reviewing my slides afterwards, and they asked if I could stay, and they would squeeze me in for a biopsy during lunch that same day. That's when I knew things were getting serious. This was not gonna be okay. How could someone in their 30s who was living this healthy, active life, I was not overweight, there was no breast cancer history, I was not a smoker, like all of these things did not point to breast cancer. So why me? How did I get it? Yeah, William was an outstanding caregiver. Um, I went through about six months of very aggressive chemotherapies from adriamycin, cytoxin, taxol, herceptin, and progetta, uh, followed by a whole month of Monday through Friday radiation to the area where there was the cancer. I did not have a complete response to my treatment, and so even after all of this, I had to do another round of oral chemotherapy for another six months. So I think all told, it was just over a full year of active treatment. And then because my cancer was hormonal positive, I was then prescribed about 10 years of hormonal therapies to kind of keep the cancer at bay. So my message is that, you know, breast cancer doesn't end when your treatment ends. If you're living with metastatic disease, you are on treatment for the rest of your life as well. Mm -hmm. So when Laura came out of surgery, she looked up at, at a number of us who were uh, hanging around her bed and she was looking to find a breast cancer emotional support group. And so it was suggested to her that why don't we just start one? And uh, eight years later, two million visitors have come to visit us on the website. We've gone completely virtual. We continue to operate in Spanish and French and Italian and Arabic, trying to reach out to the world's um, breast cancer community to offer emotional support. And there's a lot of emotional trauma that happens when you're diagnosed with breast cancer. So really trying to find those support groups. I was looking for people who I could talk to, who would understand all of these crazy side effects that we're going through. And that just because my hair grew back and I was going back to work, doesn't mean that I am healed from cancer. It is something that I think about every single day and I know I'm not alone in those struggles. And so it was really important for William and I to provide this virtual platform, survivingbreastcancer.org, where we provide community education and resources to anyone touched by this horrendous disease. Yeah. Gosh, I did not go to school to start and run a nonprofit. That was never in my plans until I got breast cancer. Um, but it has been the love and joy of my life. I come home and I sit on a support group and I get energized by this community. I see the difference that we're making in people's lives. Where do I see us going? Like, we're growing, you guys. Like, it is happening. It's because of people like you who are making donations and believing in our vision. So we were being interviewed for a local TV station in Boston, and this was year one, really. We were walking along the beach in South Boston at Carson Beach, and we were chit-chatting, and, and Laura just looked up at me, and she said, this is the worst year of my life. And I said, no, it's not. It's the best year of your life. She looked at me like I had two heads, and, and she said, what are you talking about? I said, dude, you just beat cancer. Yeah. How lucky are you?